What's up, sons? It's Blind Ride with Son of a Tech once again, and I'm back from jujitsu after, of course, this morning's crypto mining morning. And if you guys are interested in those, we'll be doing them Monday through Friday, 9.45 a.m. to 10.45 a.m. Central Time on the East Coast. That's going to be 10.45 a.m. to 11.45 a.m. And for the West Coast, well, everybody's moving out of there, so we're not going to worry about it. Jokes aside, today we're going to be taking a look at the Ergo Dex launch that recently came out and how to utilize it. Now we will be covering the wallets as well because as it pertains to Ergo Dex, there are specific things that you need to install within your Brave or Chrome web browser to make them function properly. But if you were looking at how to mine Ergo, go check a different video for that that we have on this channel. It does cover creating the wallet but a huge caveat there is that you need the nightly version of that wallet and we're going to cover that one today so if you're on the non-nightly version that we used in the mining tutorial you'll need to get that changed over to this one to basically utilize the decks then we'll talk about if you guys are interested how to utilize the ergo auction house for nfts on the platform as well if you're interested in that sound off in the comment section below let's get into it right after a word from today's sponsor. Today's sponsor is myself. To support the channel, click the join button below the video and you will get access to our privately hosted rocket chat. Selecting the $1.99 option will get you access and after that you need to head over to the membership tab, scroll down, and expand out your membership perks. Find the section for connecting on social media and in that section there will be a secret registration URL to join rocket chat where you can sign up to enjoy talking with other cryptocurrency enthusiasts and miners without spammers, scammers, or bots. Welcome back. So first things first, let's go ahead and hop into the UI and give you guys an idea of what's going on. Alrighty, so you do have a couple options here as far as settings. If you click the little ellipses in the top right, you can go into dark mode. Now I know a lot of you guys like dark mode, so we're going to leave it in dark mode. Today's example is going to be in Chrome because I already have everything installed within my Brave web browser, but either way it should function pretty similarly. You are going to want to make sure that you go directly to app.ergodex.io slash swap and that will be the official website linked down below. Be careful when Googling anything uh, related to decentralized exchanges or wallets because you could end up with one that is malicious that would steal your crypto. So make sure you always go directly to the links you know are the legitimate sites. Next, let's go ahead and click this how to use Ergodex. This is a pretty quick and dirty uh, how to that gives you a step and basically in order to start using Ergodex you need to install the following two Google Chrome extensions. You got Yo ROI or Yori depending on how you want to pronounce it nightly and then you have the DAP connector. You need to get both of these installed. Now it does make sense that the basically this version is being used because the nightly version is the one that is updated well nightly so you're just going to go into the chrome web store click add to chrome and then at that point you are good to go i like to come up here to the little plug-in tab and then hit the pin so that it's ready to go right there next you will need the dap connector as well otherwise it will not work with either of course ergo dex or the auction house either. So we're going to go ahead and click into here and click add to Chrome and then click add extension. Now you don't necessarily need to pin this one. This one's just going to be kind of running in the background to get everything up and kind of connected to the exchanges and the auction house. So next we're going to need to go ahead and create a wallet. And so to do this, we are going to go ahead and close out of the Chrome extensions. We're going to click the plugin and then it will open up the wallet. This is, should be the first setup for you guys. It'll look exactly like this. You are going to get a warning that you're on uh, Yori nightly, which will update nightly. And that's kind of what the exclamation point is for there. Don't freak out. You're going to select your language is going to be English. You need to read through the terms of service. 
for anything sketchy and click the uh, I agree and click continue. You'll understand the risk and then you can allow payment Cardano payment URLs. We're not doing anything with Cardano right now. We're only doing stuff with Ergo. This is not needed. You can go ahead and skip it. So at this point, you can connect your hardware wallet. That would only be for Cardano right now, to my understanding, as far as for both the Ledger and the Trezor. I think that some work is being done to integrate uh, Ergo as well. Hopefully that will happen soon because that is much needed for the GPU mining community as well as, of course, the DeFi community on the platform. So we're going to go ahead and click Create Wallet. We are going to scroll down and create an Ergo wallet. Then we're going to go ahead and click create wallet and then create the name. We are just going to name ours next Tuesday. And then you can create a password to your liking and then type it in twice and then create a personal wallet. Now here is going to be the recovery phase. For everybody that is not aware, the recovery phrase is how you will recover your wallet if lost or you have a new PC, etc. So you want to basically, it's making sure that nobody is looking at your screen and basically that if they do and they get the 15 recovery phrase words, they can go ahead and of course hack your wallet. Now, if you've been, you know, pretty risque with your machine that you're working with and you are need, ha, may have like remote tool access tools or something installed on them, you want to be very careful. I am going to just point this out for the uninitiated. If you are using a work PC to do anything with crypto, you should stop immediately. The IT team should, in theory, have access to a remote access tool at all times to your machine. And part of that would include being able to see your screen when creating wallets. This is on pretty much any work PC and you should be very, very cognizant of that. For anything crypto, please buy a personal laptop to do this on. All right, we're gonna go ahead and check the box and click OK, and these are the words that we need to write down. Do not do what I'm doing <laughs> and creating a notepad to write these down unless you want quick access to it and you are going to save it on either an encrypted USB drive or at the very least into an encrypted service such as Nord Locker, which is one that I like to use to move stuff between basically PCs. The best bet, obviously, is going to be something that you can unplug from the system, such as a USB drive. But for now, we're going to go ahead and say, let's get going and type in all of these in order. And then we are going to just say that we have written it down and it will make you type it in order. So at this point, we're just going to type it in the order that we wrote it down in. And I already messed mine up. <laughs> clear <laughs> so sometimes you can get it messed up but that's okay all right then you click continue and you should have the wallet ready to go for miners you are essentially going to want to come to the receive tab and copy this out and put it into your miners so that it will mine to the yori nightly wallet now if you've been mining to the regular yori wallet you're going to want to go ahead and hop in over there and copy this address and make a transaction over here I'm going to go ahead and open up my Brave browser and get some sent over from my Yori Nightly that is over there that we did all of the testing on over to this address so that we can continue the tutorial. So we're just going to come over here and click the copy to clipboard and then on our Ergo wallet over here that we want to send it to, we're going to click the send button. And then we are going to paste it into the receiver. And then I'm going to send like 3.1 ergo. And then I am going to go ahead and click next. And then type in my spending password and click send. So at this point now, we are just going to wait until we receive it into this wallet. And then we will continue the tutorial.
Alrighty, so now we have 3.1 Ergo within our Yori Nightly wallet, and we can finally go back to the decentralized exchange and get to working. So first things first, you're gonna need to connect your wallet. So up in the top right, you can go ahead and click connect and then click the Yo ROI wallet and then select the wallet in the pop-up that happens and then click connect. It should spin here and then eventually it will show the amount of ERG in your wallet that is available to you. And you should be able to type through and then select the token and then be good to go. In some cases it may say insufficient ERG balance. This has been a little odd. So I have had to either refresh over here and say I understand the risk and continue, or I've had to refresh over here and then go ahead and select the token beforehand and then put it in. There's gonna be a disclaimer here and that is that essentially there is some bugginess going on with Ergodex and it needs to be resolved. Do not put more money within or into Ergodex than you are willing to lose. So disclaimer aside, let's get back into it. In some cases, like I said, it will start doing some weird things like this and you'll just have to refresh in the worst case, what I've had to do is completely close out of the browser and then go. But refreshes usually work. As you can see, now our balance is here within the swap. So now we should be good to go. So we can go ahead and type the one into here and then select our token, which we're going to go ahead and select the SIG USD. And that is basically the Ergo uh, stable coin. Now, this is an important stable coin because it does have a reserve as well. We're going to be covering the kind of relationship between SIG USD and SIG RSV in a completely different video. We did cover it in Crypto Mining Morning. It's very important to understand the differences. It's awesome. I already am going ahead and adding liquidity personally to this, uh, both with SIG USD and SIG RSV for the reserve. But all you really need to know is how to go ahead and get it swapped out. At this point, I'm just going to say 1.5 so that we'll get $13.92 in the stable coin and then one and a half dollars there. And then we can click the swap button. At this point, it will ask you if you would like to con confirm the swap. And then we can go ahead and see the slippage is set to 0.1%. And here's the estimated output and here is the estimated fees. We're going to go ahead and click confirm and then you will need to type in your spending address and then click confirm again. Now our transaction has submitted and we just need to wait for the swap. Once again, this is going to be something where you kind of have to refresh for a little bit before it will start to apply and it can take a little bit and you can observe it on the block. Once we have it confirmed, we'll come back and we will talk about creating and adding pools or adding liquidity to liquidity pools for SIG USD. Alrighty, so you are going to want to go back to your wallet and confirm that you have the amount of ergo you swapped for or that the transaction has happened. As you can see here, we can see the transaction, we can see the amount of ergo, and we can see the amount of basically SIG USD we have here, or at least, excuse me, the, the, the fees here. And so now we can go back to the ergo decks and then may have to refresh a few times. And that's just because it's gonna take a little bit for it to pick it up. Once it's picked it up, once it's picked up, it, you should start seeing it basically show up down here. You can tell if you need to refresh again by clicking the select token. If a token doesn't pick back up, you're gonna just go ahead and click a refresh again. We should see a balance here for the ergo. And then if we click here and click the SIG USD, we should see a balance for the SIG USD as well. At this point, I'm going to show you guys how to add liquidity. For that, you're going to click the pool tab up in the top middle. And a disclaimer before we get started, this is, you know, a very new app. Please do not put in more than you are willing to use for that reason or lose, use, but lose. Another reason is because whenever you're adding liquidity, you're going to want to leave that liquidity within the system until at the very least you recover your fees, but preferably that you ROI on that investment. So it can take a significant amount of time, especially on a new platform where, you know, in this case, it may take a significant amount of time before people start utilizing it 
on a regular basis, thereby decreasing the amount of transactions, which then decreases the amount of course of payout that you're going to receive from your liquidity positions. All right, so let's get back to it and I'll show you guys how to do it. Let's click the add position button and you're going to select the pair for Ergo. And then you're gonna select the SIG USD that we had traded for or swapped for earlier. Under the balance for the Ergo, we're gonna just go ahead and add one. And then you can click this stick to current ratio button to basically ratio it out for yourself. At this point, you can go ahead and click the add liquidity button. Here it will show you the amount of ERG you are basically adding to liquidity as well as the amount of the stable coin you're adding and the fees that will be accrued of course. At this point you're going to click add and then once again the Yori Nightly wallet will open up for you to confirm with your spending password. Going to go ahead and type that in, click continue, and the transaction will be submitted on the Explorer. You can always click the view on Explorer button if it was working. So this is another one of those bugs. So it's easier to just go into your wallet and grab it from the Explorer there. Uh, that is another bug that is going on with Ergodex as well as that. That isn't working, but it is there. It's an option. Once the position has been made, it will show up in this positions tab. I will show you on mine in particular here. So you get an idea of what it will look like. So if I go to, I got to connect the wallet real quick. All right. So basically for the position, you'll have a pools overview with your positions and you can go ahead and click into that. And it will essentially show you the amount of ergo and the amount of whatever token you are basically adding liquidity to. And then it will show you the current price, etc. The other option that you have here too is to increase liquidity or remove liquidity. So that's kind of your position overview and how that functions. Once again, it's probably going to take quite a bit of time before we really get anywhere near covering even the fees for this in particular. So, you know, it is what it is. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this video helpful. Be sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more content like this. And basically, if you're interested in the Ergo platform, I think that it's shaping up to be super promising, especially from the perspective of proof of work miners and basically being, you know, a proof of work Ethereum with fees that aren't ridiculous and, you know, all of the same features as far as decentralized exchanges, as well as, of course, NFTs. We'll cover NFTs later in the week, but tomorrow we're going to be covering the T-Rex Miner update to see if you should update your rigs to T-Rex. Thanks for watching, and I will see you next Tuesday. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe to see more. Also, you can check out this playlist for more content talking about cryptocurrency.